Good morning, everyone. So welcome to October 2nd. Um, it's very interesting because I really feel like the collective right now is healing in a very heart-centered way. And I feel like it's stemming from the Libra new moon. And um, of course, we still have Venus square Pluto, just a degree um, away from that. So it's still very strong. And the Venus squaring Pluto is changing the way that you allow yourself to be loved or not loved. You know what I mean? It's like, are you really allowing yourself to be loved in like 100% in the way that you deserve to be loved? Or are you settling? And I think that that is a big question right now um, that you have to ask yourself. Because if you're settling in any relationship, uh, whether it's romantic or friendship or anything like that, if you feel like you're settling in any way, it's out of safety. It's out of fear and out of safety. Um, I get readings a lot from people who will tell me that they've been married for a very long time, which I think is fantastic. But then they say, but the marriage hasn't been good for a very long time and we're just staying for the kids or we're doing this, we're doing that. Or, um, you know, and, and you have to ask yourself, is it really for the kids? Like, is it really for the kids? Or is that just an, ex an excuse for you to stay in a safe zone? And I'm not like, I'm not here to, sorry, my high-waisted yoga pants. <laughs> Um, it's uncomfortable if they roll down and all, it's uncomfortable. You know what I mean? Um, so that's sort of an overlying theme that's going on right now. You're having to ask yourself, and now the moon is actually trining Chiron, which a trine is a good relationship. And it ha this happens whenever the moon is in Sagittarius or Leo, it's going to trine Chiron. So while Chiron is in Aries, um, we will be, and, and the, the Chiron being in Aries um, is healing the very parts of you that ask, who am I, right? So there's there can be very deep transformative moments this week for you. While the moon is in Sagittarius for the next couple of days, there can be some really deep moments of healing and recognition that maybe you have been settling for a really long time and it's time for you to no longer settle. And I'm not here to tell people that you need to get divorced if you're unhappy in your marriage. Like, that's not what I'm saying. And we're all adults here, so let's be real with that. But when it comes to making decisions... The two of pentacles, we're trying to use our logic a lot right now. And I sort of feel like you need to, instead of trying to figure out what's the most logical, what makes the most sense, it's time for you to get really honest. And sometimes that doesn't make sense. When you get really honest with yourself and you ask yourself the hard questions, am I happy? Am I happy here? Am I happy doing this? And then what do I need to change? When you start getting really honest with yourself and you come from a place of um, love, connection, emotion, the answers are much more genuine. They may not be logical, but they are genuine to a cups. And I do feel like there's some really deep honesty coming from people because we have the two of pentacles and the two of cups. So there are definitely decisions that need to be made. And the moon is asking you to do it logically. I mean, uh, 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 with, your intu with your intuition, right? Your intuition can be logical too. But um, a lot of times the reasons why we don't listen to our intuition is because it doesn't make sense. 
why would I do that? That doesn't make any sense to me. Why would I do that? Or that's going to be really hard to do, right? There's some kind of shift right now. And so we have the Wheel of Fortune and we have Justice, which also has the Wheel of Fortune here. But this is like karmic retribution. This is like um, the Wheel of Fortune moving in your favor and yet still saying you're learning a lesson from this. It's almost as if this is the feeling that I'm getting, that somebody like meets someone um, unexpectedly, not realizing it, right? Somebody meets someone and they think, it's like they realize, oh, this is what I've deserved all along. They meet someone where they have a connection with them. And this isn't going to be for everybody because some of us are in, like some of you are in relationships already that are perfectly fine. And you're not searching for, you know, a new person. But um, you're like, oh, I get it now. I see that this is the kind of, rea this is the kind of, um, connection that I've been waiting for. This is, you know, with Venus and Pluto, there can be a lot of really karmic connections or really transformative connections that can happen. And you're allowing yourself to be a little bit more vulnerable than maybe normally you would be. And not in a um, needy, I want, I want, gimme, gimme kind of way or like, you know, because a lot of times our blocks that we have in life are thinking that, if we don't get that, if we don't, if we don't um, jump on that catch now, somebody else is going to do it. And there's and, and we think that there's like this lack mentality of there's not enough to go around. There's not enough people to go around. There's not enough relationships to go around. There's plenty. Trust me, there's plenty. Um, the self alignment course that I'm doing this weekend will be talking about those blocks that we do to ourselves, um, that we hold on to ourselves. And it's hard to manifest new relationships when we're blocking ourselves. And so I'm going to show you guys, like, teach you guys how to unblock yourself by becoming consciously aware of what you're doing to block your manifestations. And this includes being in alignment for a twin flame or a soulmate or whatever, right? So that self-alignment course, you can still register for it in the next couple of days. Um, and yeah, it's on Saturday afternoon. It's all on my website, but I do feel like somebody, there's some kind of karmic retribution and a lesson with that karmic retribution, but it's positive. It doesn't feel negative for some of us We're we're still dwelling on the past with the five of cups. But there's two cups that he's holding, which are up here in the two of cups. You see? So let's clarify. This, I feel like this is going to be a pretty short reading, which is fine. Totally fine. Oh, yeah. And see, here's the thing. Is y'all... You, you already know what you want. But I think what, what, and here's, this is good. This is actually a good thing. Are you questioning, um, are you questioning your destiny? Like, what is my purpose? What is my destiny? Who am I supposed to be with? Dot, 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 right? So the star on the two of pentacles is really asking, like, this is where you need to feel it out. You know, this is where you need to get honest with yourself with the moon. And instead of trying to figure out what's best for you because it looks real, right? A pentacle is real. So you're trying to decide, do I go this direction because it doesn't really seem real? Or do I go this direction because this already exists and it's real and I can touch it and taste it and feel it and all of that, right? Um... But this is where you, I feel like you need to feel it out and not, um, 
try and figure it out logically like we talked about already, you know? And nobody else is going to be able to tell you. And if you, this is where you have to have faith. And one of the things about having faith is, faith isn't about, isn't, isn't hoping that God is answering your prayers. Faith is, is knowing that God is answering your prayers for your highest good. Right? And sometimes our prayers get answered in different ways. But I'm only saying that because because of when you feel like you're having to make these decisions on your own and you feel like um, in life, you know, and then you, you kind of like look around and, and realize, oh, wow, I'm doing all of this on my own. Sorry, I didn't put my phone on Do Not Disturb again. Gosh. Just as I'm saying that. Okay. Um, this is where you put your faith in the unknown. And you say, I said my prayer. I said what I needed to say. I looked at myself in the mirror. I was really honest about what was going on, what's going on with me. I know that I'm evolving and changing every single day. And I deserve to have somebody in my life that's evolving and changing and sees me and really, really sees me, right? And will evolve and change with me, will level up with me. The Six of Wands on the Two of Cups. I literally just heard the road to victory with love. And, um, I mean, I knew, I knew before I even started this reading, um, my mind was going towards the healing of relationships, the healing of your heart chakra. And on the meditation that we're doing on Sunday, um, we do meditation and Reiki healing circles every week. If you want to join us, the one on Sunday is going to be focusing on self-love, self-empowerment self-forgiveness and recognizing how to continue to protect yourself in doing that because you want to attract a person in your life or into your life that's going to protect you just as much as you protect yourself that's going to protect your energy just as much as you protect yourself that's not going to purposefully um, bring you down or tear you down in the hopes of growth and healing, right? Like, let's not use the guise of spirituality. I'm just trying to help you. I'm just trying to help you. If you're not following your journey with love, if you're not giving advice and guidance with love, and that's something that I actually was brought to my attention because you guys all know me. I am like Little Miss Tough Love. I will give it to you straight. And um, I do it with the utmost intentions of letting you know that I'm only saying, like a Virgo will not say something to you unless they truly, truly care about your healing process. They will not give you advice, whether it's tough love or not, unless they truly, truly, truly care about your healing process. But I had to check myself. I had to check myself this last weekend and say, are you really doing this in, in the, the hopes of them healing? Or are you doing this because your ego has now been bruised and you have to prove a point? You see? And once everything shifts, because for those of you who are like, I feel like I'm always going to be alone and I'm never going to have somebody who loves me. That's 100% untrue. Um, 
there are people in your life that do love you and um, you, you can manifest a romantic partner to be with you. You want to be loved, but you truly have to love yourself first. And then when the energy shifts, and this is what this week's energy is doing for us. It's making us get really honest with ourselves and saying, have we been living our best and, and for our best and highest good? And are the people around us wanting our best and highest good as well or not, right? So this is what the energy is teaching us. And there is somebody new that's going to show up or somebody that's going to show up and they're going to see you. But with temperance on the wheel of fortune you can shift the energy at any time you can go from attracting a negative energy to attracting a positive energy at any time as long as you're choosing to focus on yourself and your growth that's the difference right so the more you align with yourself which is what i'll be teaching in the course on saturday the more you align with yourself the more faith that you can have that you're going to be attracting the person that is for your highest good. But you have to be patient because, again, you can shift the energy at any time. But that Wheel of Fortune with temperance and justice is all about divine timing. Those lovely two words divine timing and here's the thing is you're going along you're feeling really good you're like yes i've shifted the energy i am loving myself i am doing things for myself i am focused on my growth this is wonderful i'm not even focusing on a new relationship coming in you know this and this and this and this and this is how you're feeling for like a week and then all of a sudden you're like okay it's been a week i've been feeling really good about myself i've been doing what i need to do been meditating I've been manifesting like crazy I've been doing it right doing everything that I'm supposed to do and somebody still hasn't shown up and and I feel like that's when you have to remind yourself that divine timing is at play right be very aware of your boundaries during this time if you have a healthy set of boundaries and we'll talk about that on Saturday as well if you have a healthy set of boundaries and you know what you deserve and what you don't deserve and you stick to those boundaries you will only attract things for your highest good Having healthy, loving boundaries with everybody in your life, not just with suitors, but with everybody in your life. Um, and the Five of Cups. And this is what I'm saying is, like, don't do the work for a week and then expect to have somebody show up on your doorstep with flowers and um, a boombox. For those who grew up in the 80s, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> um, you know, my uncle looks like John Cusack, or did look like John Cusack when he was younger. So, he's always been one of my favorite actors. <laughs> but anyway, so don't expect somebody, and then, and then, and then, um start to get into that like woe is me everything is sad kind of state of mind just because it didn't show up in the way that you wanted it to you have to remember to not lie to yourself right now and here's the other thing is if you have to fight off people coming back from your past or if you start noticing that as you raise your vibration there are people that show up from your past. Energy is everything. When you raise your vibration, you watch and see how many people start showing up. And that's because they know that you are, um, I mean, I know that people show back up in my past, like they'll message me or text me or something like that. 
because I've always been a very calming energy. And so, I mean, there are some energies that just kind of latch onto that and don't let go. It's up to you to use your discernment and keep your healthy boundaries, right? And not to feel guilty about blocking out people from your past if you need to, right? The seven of swords and the six of pentacles are saying to be wary of, to be wary of where your energy is going, where you're placing it. Are you giving it to people, places, and things that are giving it back to you? Or are you not? And then not feel guilty, not feeling guilty about um, the energy that you're holding on for yourself. And you're not giving you're not giving it away to others. You know what I mean. So, again, this alignment course I'm really proud of it. Um, I have been working on it for a really long time, and then it evolved this summer. There was something, and we'll talk about this in the course on Saturday. But there was something um, that sort of. Uh, I had to really accept and open my eyes up to this summer and that catapulted me back into alignment or realignment if you will when I didn't even realize I needed it so much and um, so I'm very proud um, to be able to offer this and I will be offering it two other times in October but it'll be later October those are actually going to be announced after this weekend so um, if you can't make it this Saturday, I hope that you can make it to the other two. Again, I'm really super excited. And they're all going to be recorded. So if you can't make it to any of them, um, if you register, you will still get the recording of it. And it's a two-hour, it'll be a two-hour video. Two-hour-ish video, give or take a few minutes. Um, so, but it is live with me on Saturday. Recorded live. Uh, the six-month 2020 forecasts pre-order, um, they're going pretty quick. So if you want to be in on the pre-order where they are delivered in the first two weeks of November, um, do that now. Um, the pre-order will also include December's reading for you. So you'll get December and then December of 2019, and then January through June 2020. And join us for the Meditation and Reiki Healing Circles. We have one this Sunday, and then we'll do a full moon and Aries ritual for next Sunday on the 13th. I love you guys. I just want to make sure I get everything out there. Didn't want to do it in the beginning of the video, but um, I love you guys. If you're still hanging out with me <laughs> after all that, bye. Have a good day.